The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. And hello and welcome um, to this special presentation, especially for coaches. I'm Victoria Gibson and in this session, I'm going to be running you through the three biggest conversion killers in your coaching business and how to eliminate them to attract more clients. I'm so glad you're here because um, over the years, I have consistently seen these um, conversion killers for want of a better world. It sounds pretty violent, right? But I've seen them come up time and time again for coaches in their marketing. And I wanted to kind of call them out, see if you could relate um, and see how you could take them out of your business and refine your own message to market, your marketing message, your um, and your offers for a lot more revenue and a lot more sales. And um, I can't wait to dive in because it really is important work that you're doing. And I want to make sure that you're giving yourself the best possible chance with your marketing and you're not unknowingly putting a block between you and your potential clients with that marketing. So um, it's great to see you all on here live. I really want to make sure that you can hear me um, and you can see my screen with the title slide on it. Can you just type a Y in the chat box um, so that I can make sure that you can? Um, there's a little chat box hopefully on the side of your screen or you can ask a question there. Um, just pop a Y in there and make sure uh, that you can hear me at a reasonable level and you can see my title slide um, that says the three biggest conversion killers in your coaching business. Uh, if you can, that um, just let me know. Great. Okay, I can see some whys. Anyone else? Just want to make sure this, everybody has had a chance to see it. Okay, great. I'll... Um, I will proceed. Welcome. I'm down here in Melbourne, Australia, wherever you're from across the globe. I hope it's a lovely day or evening for you. And I'm so glad you could join me live because what that really says about you is that you really care about where your business is headed. You're taking the time to dive into this and I want to reward you um, for showing up today. Uh, I want to reward you with some great training, the opportunity to ask me any questions and and um, have some great takeaways that you can implement straight away, hopefully some big ahas. Because in today's session, I'm going to reveal the three biggest marketing mistakes that are killing your business, I mean, you're killing your conversions pretty much, and your business, how to reach your ideal audience in a way that makes it absolutely impossible for them to say no to you, and how to drive traffic to your offers with authentic and powerful messaging. Okay, ready for that? It's for you if you're a coach who's looking to scale your business and enjoy more income and work from anywhere. I know for me, when, uh, for me, starting this business was so important. Um, you know, eight years ago because I wanted the freedom and the flexibility to be able to travel, to be able to, um, you know, pick up my kids from school, even um, not have to, you know, have a boss, so to speak, um, be able to direct my own future, and I'm sure that's why you've jumped into it as well or why why you've been um why you've chosen to be a coach as well as creating a bigger impact for others and sharing what you know and your beautiful expertise so this training is for coaches but it's not for coaches already making over five hundred thousand dollars a year it's really um if you're looking to scale get moving add more income to your business if you're already making over five hundred thousand a year then you probably got rid of a lot of these conversion killers so probably don't need to be here but it's definitely helped a few of my clients get to that level and beyond um, what i'm going to be sharing with you today could not only just the conversion killers um, but how we can turn that around uh, today, I'm also going to be sharing how other coaches have uncovered how to eliminate these conversion killers and get their message to market back on track so that the advertising works well, so that their ideal clients can easily find them. Um, and also how you can apply the solid four-step system and strategies that I'm going to share at the end of this presentation to have a more robust and profitable coaching business. So you're going to get great training, plus you can ask me anything about how you can rapidly grow your coaching business, and I'm going to have a special bonus offer at the end, so definitely stick around because I love to reward those who stay for the whole presentation. 
I like to share the whole message. Um, you keep keep me uh, keep me moving throughout the presentation. I'll definitely reward you at the end. Um, a couple of uh, I just wanted to share a couple of clients um, that I've worked with, just to give you an idea of what is possible um, moving from contractor in this case to four million dollar revenue business owner with Fiona. Uh, amazing journey of being able to really narrow down her market. We we, um, we strategized a, a market shift in what she was offering and it was so powerful that it, it, it moved her to seven figures straight away. So this work where we're getting very, very clear on your message to market is absolutely essential. I've, um, I have narrow in on this work because I've identified that it's the single biggest reason why coaches don't succeed. So with Fiona, we tweaked just one element of her message to market and that was her actual market and she went to six, seven figures. Um, someone like Chantel built a seven-figure coaching empire and along the way we really you know tweaked her market as well where her market was the scale like she's um, Australian based in Sydney and she was marketing to Australians only we got her marketing out there to Americans um, she already had a nice refined niche of helping um, music and dance studio owners grow uh, grow their um, grow their student numbers and their studio profits. Um, so that was awesome. All we had to do was really just change the area where she was scaling to, and then get that messaging out there on a bigger scale using Facebook ads. But most of all, what it all comes down to, and one of the biggest blocks, one of the reasons these conversion killers really show up, is that you keep thinking that other people are doing it bigger and better, and and maybe you can't really own your true expertise. Maybe you can't own that unique thing that you do and that unique presence and personality and expertise that you bring. Um, so, you know, you keep you keep things at a level that aren't going to be working for you as well because you have that fear that what you do isn't special enough to stand out and make a difference. And I mean what you really do, that real that thing that's inside you that maybe you aren't fully expressing at the moment. And um, maybe you don't believe that that's the thing that's going to help you make more money than you ever dreamed possible. But I know, I know differently and I'd love to help you express it more. Because to be honest, this kind of thing is probably commonplace for you if you're on this call. Your email list or your audience, right? It's growing really, really slowly and it's really small, okay? Might be a, a few hundred people even. It might be just a couple of thousand. And that is making it really difficult for you to get traction. You might be thinking that you need a fancy funnel. You don't know where to start. A funnel being you want to have your ads, you want to have, you know, your email nurture sequence, you want to have a tripwire, an upsell, a downsell, all those things, right? You've seen them, you've read about them, and you thought, oh, maybe I need those, but I'm, I don't know where to get started. Who here feels that way, right? Pretty common. These are basically a list of things that I know um, clients say to me time and time again. So I want you to know that, don't worry, I get it, okay? Um, the other thing that keeps happening is you're chopping and changing your message, a different promotion, a different offer, a different program. You're changing up your Facebook ad copy if you're um, doing Facebook ads. Um, you're thinking one week that you might go for, um, you know, women who are fit and only have a couple of kilos to lose if you're a weight loss professional. And the next you're kind of heading towards um, people who want to lose, uh, lose weight after they've had a baby. You know, like you're moving from segment to segment, from message to message, okay? Mm. Chopping and changing, okay? So you also might be spending too much or not enough or not any, too much time creating content, posting on social media rather than making regular offers. This is one of the biggest reasons why um, new coaches and especially new coaches aren't hitting the income they want is that they're not making consistent offers. There's too many, too much busy work going on, right? There's too many website tweaks. There's too many, so, you know, bits and pieces to tweak on social media or other people to watch or funnels to build that never get launched because you get totally overwhelmed by all the tech. Or maybe you've used Facebook ads or you're using them and they're just 
getting really, really expensive. I, I saw someone's ad the other day. I'm always, you know, on the lookout for people who are doing Facebook ads really well because I think it's it's hard to find people who have that knowledge. And, um, you know, they were they were talking about coaching ads and they were saying, you know, oh, I, I got $7 um, email opt-ins for a webinar and I was thinking, wow, $7, wow, that's a lot more expensive. I would normally not want to pay over the $5 mark. But that's probably the reality for a lot of people that, you know, it's so much more expensive. And then coupled with the fact if you don't have your message dialed in, you don't have the right copy, you don't really know who you're marketing to, then those costs are absolutely going to skyrocket. You might also find that your revenue or your sales are a bit unreliable. You're not locking clients in um, to longer packages. You haven't got any recurring revenue coming in in your business. And it feels a bit scary when you think about the next month and you're not really sure how much money you've got coming in, particularly when your expenses aren't going away, right? And are you worried? Really, at the end of the day, you might never get this coaching thing nailed, okay? You may never have the success that you know you deserve, that you know um, there's so many clients out there who need what you have, um, but you just can't reach them because you can't find that bridge, that powerful message, and then the marketing steps that are going to get it out there to the right people. Okay, who here feels like that can feel pretty hopeless at times. And sometimes you're like, well, I just can't quite get that traction I'm after. Because the real problem is you have these hidden conversion killers. The reason I call them conversion killers is that I see them, they stop you making sales, they stop you getting clients, um, but often they are hidden. You don't know they exist. You think based out of what you what you have been doing and what you want to share, you want to serve as many people as possible or, um, you know, this is the right way to do it because this is how other people do it. But unfortunately what's hap happening is that these are showing up and absolutely limiting your growth, limiting your chance to make the profit that you deserve. And the truth is most of these conversion killers exist because of fear. Fear that you're not going to make it as a coach. Fear that you're not at the level that other people are that you see out there. Fear that other people do what you do better. And a lot of these fears are unfounded and untrue. And I want you to get in the mindset today that we could actually put them to the side, okay? You're also probably thinking, I need a huge email list. I need a, a massive following and all these fancy followings. I need to have a big team or I need to have, um, you know, send out emails every single day or whatever it might be. Whatever that belief is that you need to be more, that you need to show up this way, that you need to be different are absolutely untrue and they're actually distracting you from the power of what you have to share. Please know this and um, pay attention, okay, because this is what's costing you thousands of dollars a month right? Because when you, what you really need is a powerful message to market. And that is the true expression of who you are, who you are, what your expertise is, and who you help create a powerful transformation for. And don't get bogged down in the words, words transformation or powerful transformation. We can all as coaches create that with our expertise, thinking back to what we've shared before with others, whether it's been paid or unpaid, we have a powerful transformation to, sh um, to share. And it's our job to ensure that that's clearly communicated. Okay. And unfortunately, what we do do is have it here in our head and not realize that our potential clients haven't made the jump to it that we have. They haven't got the level of understanding that we have about what we do. And it's our job to distill it down, to make it absolutely clear, to grab um, the attention of those ideal clients as soon as they possibly come into contact with anything that we put out there. That includes social media, that includes websites, that includes showing up um, on podcasts or other people's podcasts um, and interviews, media, whatever it may be. It's our job to make sure that people know without a shadow of a doubt what we do and how we can help them and whether we're right for them. Okay, this is what you need. This is what it all comes down to. And when you eliminate the conversion killers, I'm going to show you in a moment and put the steps in place to get a powerful message to market out there. The big problem of not enough clients, not a big enough email list, not enough profit, not enough, recur um, not enough recurring revenue in your business, that big problem will disappear. Absolutely. Okay. And you'll discover that you can attract the best clients and make the money you dreamed of in your coaching business. Okay. Does that sound good to you? 
I know that would create a massive relief for so many coaches out there who are just finding it more and more difficult and then get in that state of overwhelm of seeing what everyone else is doing or the tech overwhelm of having to put funnels together or grow your list or get your message out there online. Now, I know online can be frustrating sometimes, but it's also such a massive, massive opportunity and one that you do not want to ignore to be able to reach people across the globe outside of your immediate area at a really, really low cost, okay? Unbelievable opportunity and it still exists. It hasn't gone away yet, right? And if you had a strong message to market, your message would speak louder than any fancy funnel. That wouldn't be what you need to make it happen, okay? Because people would know without a shadow of a doubt what you do easily, how you could help them. You get booked for speaking gigs, asked to contribute in a key media, maybe even on television. I've had clients of mine who've been asked to, you know, jump on a television interview because it's been really clear what they do, or someone's seen them on Facebook, right? And it would also be really easy to attract affiliates, partners who are going to promote you to their audience. So even if you don't have a big audience, you could perhaps tap into their audience. How amazing would that be, right? And partners are more than willing to help you or more than willing to introduce you to their audience when it's really clear what you do and it's a compliment and it's a fit for them, okay? The other thing is Facebook ads would be easy and cheaper um, and you'll bring you all the clients that you need. So even if you don't have a big list, you could get started having a return on your ads and um, making a really, really big um, impact and a big splash there and feeling really good about that being a perpetual lead generation strategy for you. And guess what? You will um, build your list when, um, when you've got ads working, okay? Because you can make your competition irrelevant, attract more high value clients when you eliminate these conversion killers and dial in your message to market. So I'm going to, in a, just shortly, I'm going to reveal those top three conversion killers in your marketing. You'll also see some other case studies. Um, and I'm going to show you how to dial up the profit in your business, how you can create your own powerful message to market as well. Okay, because when you have that message to market dialed in, don't need that big email list or fancy funnel because your best clients will find you. So I just wanted to share a little bit about how powerful your message to market can be. Back in 2011, after I'd um, you know, uh, left corporate in 2010, so um, when I, after I left corporate, I was like, I didn't really have a message to market. I didn't even know what I was going to do um, having a business. All I knew is that I was going to do it online because I didn't have the resources as a single mother to go, okay, I'm going to go and open a shop or I'm going to lease premises um, and consult or whatever. I just had to go, all right, I need to do this online. It's the lowest barrier to entry, the lowest cost to get started. But I really didn't have a big idea on what I was going to do. And a couple of little hits and misses and turns and um, things took me pretty quickly, which was great because I, I invested in a mentor. Um, that mentor at the time was Marie Forleo. I was in her mastermind and we talked about social media um, consulting and coaching and I ended up landing on learning all about Facebook ads. Beautiful thing about that was the first week um, after I'd learnt them, I, I thought I'd promote someone else's offer, see how that went to really learn how to use ads because I didn't have my own offers at that time. And um, I, I made $23,000 in, in 10 days. So uh, I realised, well, this is what I want to share. Such a powerful marketing opportunity. I'm going to get it out there. So I created my brand. As per all coaches, we all go and create a fancy website, you know, go and do all that before we go and, you know, get lots of clients. Um, so my brand at the time was FB Ad Queen. It was FB because you couldn't really use Facebook, so you can't really use FB either anymore or, or soon after that. But um, I wanted to get it out there that I could help entrepreneurs grow their business and attract more clients using Facebook ads. That was the message to market that I that I landed on after I got some, uh, you know, a couple of great results for myself. Um, picked up some clients. I think my first clients I charged $150 a week because they didn't even want to commit for a month. But but basically, I had you know had such a tiny list. I think by the by you know six months in, I had maybe five hundred people. Um, but I was able to replace my corporate income within that um, that year of twenty eleven. It was like amazing to me that because I was kind of like, oh, what am I going to do? It's amazing what you, you what you can do when you need to. I was also asked to speak on stages at big online marketing conferences in the US. Like there's um, me with right up on the stage at Traffic and Conversion Summit with Ryan Dice. 
um, underground online seminar, being featured on the Rise to the Top podcast back in the day. That was a pretty big deal. Um, and this is all as I was a new um, new business owner, right? So what was the difference there? The difference was I had a powerful message to market. Yes, I had to put myself out there a, a bit and Facebook ads most certainly helped. Not as many people were doing them back then. But even aside from that, it was very clear for people to understand what I was about and what I could help them with. And I was then able to start attracting $5,000 clients. So made um, that first year just flow so much better. And then I really... I probably didn't identify then that that was the power of what um, what was working and that was the message to market. It's only now probably, you know, um, years on that I can really see how important that is and that's why I wanted to share that with you because it really is the catalyst for change in your business. Before that, I was going to just do social media consulting. Can you see the difference? Hey, I'm a social media consultant to, hi, I am... Um, help entrepreneurs attract more clients and grow their business using Facebook ads. Which one is more compelling? Yeah, sure. Maybe it's a narrower, has a narrower um, number of people who might be interested, but those people who, who are in the market for that are going to know within a shadow of a doubt how I can help them rather than being a social media consultant, right? And, you know, like I said, I didn't know if it was going to go anywhere, start an online program, sell more with Facebook ads, you know, those kind of things. But really, it just, you know, people came to me um, time and time again, and it was it was just a real hit. I was also able to get another speaking gig in New York. There's me at the front of the Empire Hotel, like feeling pretty happy with myself that I get to go speak in New York City when I live in Melbourne, Australia, get to share my knowledge on Facebook ads. Um, and it just worked really, really well. But part of what I did... Um, this is what led me to the work that I'm sharing with you today is that um, I had to dive in behind these ad campaigns. So if, if um, coaches or entrepreneurs came to me and the Facebook ads weren't working, um, that one of the key reasons was the message wasn't very clear. We didn't have a compelling and powerful offer or we didn't really know who, um, who the offer or the message was for without a shadow of a doubt. So these clients really needed the work of, of getting into um, the nitty gritty on the message to market stuff, having that, creating a compelling and powerful offer. And um, so I found that time and time again, that was the work that needed to be done. Uh, and I also knew that these coaches needed um, some confidence. They needed the power of a group and a collective to bring them together. So um, I started doing uh, coaching groups and masterminds for uh, women coaches and consultants as well. And that was, has been um, one of my greatest joys over the past five years. So um, there's a group of one of my groups of mastermind women, amazing superstars, um, where I've been able to, you know, help women from different, who are different coaches and consultants across different areas, topics, um, levels of expertise, whatever it may be, bring them together, that common goal of clarifying their message to market and then exponentially growing things uh, to create a sustainable business that really gives you the freedom and the profit that you deserve. One of my other beautiful clients, Miranda, just um, sent me this uh, saying she was able to make $50,000 in six months in her first year of having a solo business after jumping out of a partnership, um, but really refining that message to market, who she helped. So rather than before, she wanted to be a bit more mass market with her um, Facebook ad expertise, then she was able to go, no, actually, these are the kind of women I help. They're the thought leaders. They're the industry leaders. I help them, um, you know, get a bigger brand on Facebook and attract more leads, clients and sales. So that's pretty awesome. She's amazing at Facebook ads, by the way. Um, someone like Jodi, uh, she was able to start a, her own coaching mastermind from scratch like create an online program and fill it, um, make, you know, $10,000 that first month from scratch, right? She was able to take her um, online retailing business to $127,000 a year. When she came to me, she was making a few hundred dollars a month from it. So we were able to get out, uh, get the message out. First of all, she, you know, I told her originally, actually, leave the online store behind. You've got you know, um, you've got some great expertise on how to put that all together for fashion and lifestyle businesses. Go and coach. She resisted that for a while um, until we got her online clothing store working even so much better, got that to six figures, then she was able to jump in and share with her other clients the beautiful success that she'd had. 
Um, once again, that message to market, finding the right offers, finding the right models that become easier for you. That's what I, um, I'm all about and what I share. Because all too often I see far too many coaches making big mistakes with their marketing, with their message to market, with their business model as well, with their pricing, with their packaging. Okay, it all comes together. We can't just ch shift one thing, although I showed you, you know, shifting market can be quite powerful if you have the other area, uh, other um, elements in place. Okay, this doesn't have to be complicated though. With the right proven framework, we can move you through very quickly. Top three conversion killers. I've been mentioning them, and let's dive in. Okay, who's ready? Number one, a bland brand. Okay. If you want to win at being bland, then be my guest, go right ahead. But playing it safe isn't going to get you more clients, right? Playing it safe because you're in fear that if you go more detailed or if you create a different offer or if you, um, if you, you know, pop your flag on the hill and, and really show who you are and show the best parts of you that no one's going to like it or that no one else is talking about that or that other people do it better than you, then you're going to stall your market. For example, one of my beautiful clients, love her, Robin had um, sort of one of these legacy brands, I guess, where, you know, she'd started a blog called Modern Day Misses. It had morphed into, you know, talking about um, raw food, natural health. Um, you know, she had some amazing insights to share there. And as well as that, um, you know, natural fertility, things like that. She she um, talked about her own fertility journey, journey. But when I looked at her site, I was like, well, I know she, she actually wanted to do some a, a totally different offer um, that I steered her away from because what I like to do is uncover what have you done, what has worked well in the past, and even if it hasn't worked well, like in this instance I'm about to show you, does it give me clues to the fact that it is a very clear offer and it gives a very clear promise of a transformation to someone who would have a significant problem or um, issue or something that they're dealing with, okay, that's, that's costing them time, energy, money, power, influence, love, whatever it might be, okay? So she had this sort of legacy brand where she had this name that didn't really mean anything. Then she was sort of in this, uh, you know, had been sharing um, raw food, natural health. And this was what was on her website. And I was kind of like, this is great, but it doesn't really mean anything, okay? It's not like it's ugly, but it's just, what does it mean to me? It's just like, like I said, bland, right? Like it's nothing that's going to inspire me to take action. And in going back through what she, what else she had shared, I came across on the left here, um, she'd done a program called Be a Fertility Warrior, and that was the look and feel of it. And this was a mindset program um, designed to get people through their fertility treatment, get women who are battling infertility through fertility treatment, IVF, get in the right mindset, reduce stress, um, feel positive so that they can get that outcome that they so deserve and so desire, okay? And... Um, I said, hang on a minute, can we go back there? Because that is a really strong market to serve and you have done this yourself. You've had two beautiful um, girls with IVF. Um, you, you've, you've got the experience, you've got the connection, you've got the personality to make this happen. She's like, yeah, but I sold a few courses, but I've got one refund. Um, I don't think, you know, anyone wants it. Another common thing of people giving up that fear again of not wanting to iterate what you've done, not wanting to shape it again, not wanting to make it better because you feel the, the sting of the rejection that didn't work in the first place. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes things don't work because they're not right. Okay, and they need a total revamp. But often there's some real signs of life there. Okay, and we've just got to breathe that life back into them. We've just got to shape it. You just need a little bit of direction, a little bit of outside assistance to make that work. So I think she'd sold about four at forty-seven dollars originally with this uh, fertility warrior intensive. Once I said to her, "Let's go all in with this. I think this is a great offer. I think this is a great nine-nine-seven offer, not a four forty-seven dollar offer, but let's shape it with you know some other elements of support around it um, and some personalized coaching, um, you know, and and other." Um, 
a scaffolding in the course that, that really helped get the results, right? And go all in on this. Let's let's get out there. You've already got people in your audience who, who know you talk about this. So they're probably poised to buy. They're just waiting for that right message. They're right, waiting for the right offer, the right package to jump in. And within that first month of her creating it on the right, you know, she's got a bit of the, the copy around it where I was saying, share your personal journey. Share the moment her um, heart sank when, you know, she saw a friend from school who's pregnant in the supermarket and she'd been trying for the last year and had miscarriages, right? Share that because that's what people are going to connect to. Share that that's all you help women do. Get the right mindset to battle infertility, right? That can be as specific as you get, right? And then she was able to get... 10 people in at her initial beat around at 497 um, and then now she offers that program at 997. What a great win. She said after that, had I not worked with Victoria, I'd been floundering between two business models. She had that old legacy thing kind of on her shoulder and then she wanted to go somewhere else but she wasn't quite sure where. Unsure of how to move forward, what offers would get the best results for my clients. The result, I launched my business and straight away made my goal income right? So how do you battle against bland? Where's bland showing up in your business? It's showing up when, you know, everything could appeal to lots of different people, right? You don't really know when you land on, um, say, your Facebook page or your website, who exactly you're for and what you do, okay? So go back and find the gems in what you do. Take a bit of an audit of what you've done in the past, whether and what's worked. What do people ask you about all the time? Um, what do you even help your friends with? What do you find you gravitate towards? What's that sort of, you know, sort of certain thing that you do, time just melts away, right? Uncover the joy that you feel when you when you're doing that kind of work and that which creates true change when we have the intersection of that we've got um true powerful uh messaging that can come from that let your magic shine don't be don't be afraid that um people won't buy it or you know aren't interested because i'm sure if you pay attention to what people are asking you for or the things that get people's interest I'm sure that is your beautiful magic, okay? So number two is what I like to call kitchen sink marketing. It's where we like to pop everything in our offers, our message, our marketing that um, just to cover off all bases, right? Because I know you're a dedicated overachiever. I know you know all this stuff, right? I know you know so many things. I know you've created lots of things because you created it and then moved on to the next thing because we love a shiny object. When things don't work, instead of iterate it, we decide to go and create something completely new. So guess what? All of a sudden, you've got all these things that you do and you pop them all in and preferably on one page and away you go. Okay. So everything but the kitchen sink marketing looks like this snippet of a homepage of one of my past clients from before we worked together. And when she came to me, um, her front page had this on it. Um, she had all these beautiful online courses in the yoga spirituality space, okay, and online yoga teacher training, um, just virtual learning courses. Well, that sounds compelling, right? Digital mantra library, astrology, you can understand yoga for everybody, like all these things. And look, Alana, don't get me wrong, amazing, prolific content creator had these amazing courses. She wasn't making money. She wasn't making enough money. She was making, I think, a couple of thousand dollars a year. Um, a year. Geez, that would be lean. A um, couple of thousand dollars a month. Um, she had other revenue streams, but yeah, that's pretty much what was happening. And as soon as I saw what she had, and this is where I like to cast my eye over what you've got and, and really sort of critically assess it to find that element that we can change to make the biggest difference quickly to create more revenue for you and, um, and profit and enjoyment too, right? Um, so I said, oh my God, it's too many things, I'm overwhelmed. And what do people do? What does your audience do when they see this many things? They do nothing because they're overwhelmed and overwhelmed causes, being overwhelmed causes indecision because the confusion or just like, I don't know where to go, just makes them opt out, right? So by them, you know, jumping on here or seeing, you know, seeing all these different messages, they're just, there was just confusion, Okay, so we had to distill it down. We had to, I had to say to her, okay, well, what about, let's start with your market rather than all these things that you have. Let's make it very, really clear that you've got the right niche, right? You know who your, um, you know, your marketing, what your marketing message is without a shadow of a doubt who it's for, okay? Um, and when we distilled that down, we realized that she helps those who are or want to be yoga teachers with their spiritual toolkit 
because all of her courses I found that common link was in helping people become a yoga teacher or become a better yoga teacher so you wouldn't know that just from looking at that but that's when you know we went in and had a look that was what came out so then her website was able to transfer uh, transform to this helping you create more impact as a yoga teacher with spiritual tools that transform the soul right so then the, the result of that is once she had that clarity, once we knew her audience and what her market were, were without a shadow of doubt, yoga teachers, the beautiful thing is there's plenty of them on Facebook and they actually do have some great targeting options to get there, run some ads. Um, you know, last month she did $26,000 in revenue from passive online training, right? Amazing. So that is the refinement of that, getting rid of this kitchen sink marketing and really getting really, really clear on what you do. The other bonus was she was able to get so much more confidence. She went in for the Entreport Modern Entrepreneur of the Year Award and won, right? She won $5,000 at their conference. And she says here, making the leap to work with Victoria was the best investment I ever made in my business. She helped me quadruple my monthly income, um, plus, plus now. Uh, this was written last year. It showed me how to escape the deadly launch cycle and thrive in my business. And we still work together today. So how can you define and refine and eliminate kitchen sink marketing? Okay, what I want you to do is pick a horse and ride it. If you've got lots of offers, that's great. We might come back to them, but let's get one signature offer working well first. And that doesn't mean to make it work, but you have to put all the other stuff in it. Let's put it to the side. Let's refine who we're helping, who we're, um, who we're creating big change for, and um, you know, really get that out there in a clear way. Get your signature offer profitable and happening, then we can go out further. Okay, so pick a horse and ride it is my um, advice there if you've got a bit of the kitchen sink marketing thing happening. Who who can relate to that? Uh, type in the chat box and let me know. Mm. Just grabbing a sip of coffee. Okay, conversion killer number three, you're too scared to specialize. There is so much power in specializing your message that mean that might mean you're in one target market or one target industry or area so say you're in the health and wellness space or you're in the business entrepreneur space or you're in the corporate executive space and um, you're trying to appeal to everybody in that space. What I want you to do is actually go layer upon layer and get in to a refined, defined audience within that market. Speaking to someone even yesterday about um, they wanted to help victim, you know, women who are victims of domestic violence. I said, well, even within that market, there's a wide range of um, women. There's those women who have nowhere to live, have already fled and don't have any resources. Now, of course, they're the ones most in need, but are they going to be in the position to um, invest with you? Well, there's also those ones who are silently putting up with it and feeling the pressure and don't know what to do next, right? They may be you know, middle to upper class women who are ashamed to even speak out. Maybe they're the people that, you know, could invest, but they could also um, take um, take steps with a clear offer to, to, to move forward and you could help them just as much, right? Um, so there's different layers in the market and that's what we want you to think about um, rather than having what I call client FOMO where you think, oh, but someone's hired me for that in the past or someone's um, bought that before so I don't want to get rid of that or I don't want to leave them behind because they need me. A bit of it, even that domestic violence one is a, is a great example where um, uh, not necessarily the woman who was telling me about that, but another woman might say, but they're the people who need me the most. They're the ones that I want to help. Well, what I would suggest in that instance is if you do want to help people who don't have a capacity to pay you what you need to have a sustainable business that's growing all the time, then serve those people who do, take a portion of your profits and then reinvest or, or um, be able to give to charity or whatever it might be that will still help those people. You can do more work and more to help people when you have a business that has more freedom and has money coming in, okay? So if you're experiencing a bit of that client FOMO, that you're trying to appeal to everyone, that you're holding on to every single client, type of client you've ever served, it's time to let go, okay? You could do something like Sarah, one of my um, past clients. She was an e-commerce business coach helping women, um, not necessarily women, women and men who have an e-commerce store, grow their e-commerce store, create lead generation, um, and she's very, very clear on that specialty. She also wanted to be clear on her business model. It was the model she wanted to do serving her right. So she's got a coaching model, but she was also like, I'm not sure if um, 
you know, if, if uh, a leverage group was what she wanted to do, she actually really enjoys working one-on-one -on -one and diving in and creating big results um, for her private clients. So her model just needed to change. Um, and then she was so much happier to just tweak that model. She was able to get $10,000 um, in a month plus plus. She's had bigger months than that. But just by um, worried about letting go of, of one of her signature offers, offering, she was like, okay, but th this is the beautiful – beauty of specializing she was able to go okay well now I'm going to tweak it and actually help people on a bigger level privately what's that going to do to her revenue she was actually worried that she'd get the clients who would step up and invest at a higher level but because she had this beautiful specialization people knew what she did um, it was easy for her to be able to do that so don't be afraid to specialize think about how you could go into that what we talked about before, going into the layer of the layer, um, you know, what's the market within the market that you could serve and get really, really clear on. Um, and that will absolutely fast track your marketing. It will absolutely fast track your revenue. I can guarantee it. Okay. You might need some help in, in, in who that is, but if you've already had some ideas, don't be afraid to let go. And, you know, it's like swinging on the vines. You've got to let go of the last one to grab the one behind you to grab the one in front of you and keep moving forward. The beautiful thing was Sarah was like, I found the sweet spot in my business. Can't tell you how good it feels. All of a sudden, the penny just dropped. Her model worked, right? Some advice around that model and shaping it, bringing her message to market to life just made it, it just suited her, right? And she was, she was super happy about that. So niche success, what can you be doing to make sure that you've refined your niche so that you're not too scared to specialize? Because part of finding that niche is validating it as well. It's great to have an idea, but are there enough people in it? You need to have at least 10,000 people in a market to make sure that it's validated. Another concept um, I love is swimming downstream within your market, right? So rather than having to educate and, and get them to believe something that they're not that's not in their everyday consciousness, that they're not even aware that they need, go with where they're already wanting your help they're already needing a service like yours. There's already proof that it exists, right? That can be the easiest way to start swimming downstream rather than making your marketing more and more difficult, trying to swim upstream and convince people of why what you do is so good, okay? I know you know it, but you can deliver that off the back of a message that's more accessible and easier to understand, okay? So remember, you came on this call so you, um, today so you can understand what's stopping you getting your beautiful message out there, why your marketing isn't working as well as it should. So I've shown you the three most common conversion killers I see, and you need to ensure that these are absolutely eliminated before you can pivot to success. And then you can build that profitable or create your profitable message to market and build your beautiful thriving coaching business. I know you can because I've seen it time and time again and I've helped women and men just like you do it, okay? There's no need to follow a set formula anymore. You can't just sort of set up one, you know, an online program, run some ads to it and off you go anymore. You can't just set up a group and charge people $10,000 without demonstrating value, without being very clear with your message to market. But the good news is the time has never been better for the intersection of your unique talents with the desires of those who need your help most. Let's put them together. Let's make that happen for you. Who's ready, okay? What part of creating your powerful and profitable message to market do you need specifically? Let me know in the questions um, or in the chat box. I want to give you a hint though, it's not a big list and fancy funnels. That's not going to be what moves the needle straight away if your message to market isn't working. It can be if your message to market is on point and it's happening, okay? But what you probably need is a robust marketing strategy. You need where we talk about all those elements. We talk about your un the unique expression of your own expertise and talent, what I call your magic who you're serving without a shadow of a doubt. Remember, layer upon layer, who's that market? And then how are we going to create that powerful message to market? And how are we going to deliver it with a business model that works? Okay. I, you need clarity and confidence to do that. You might need just pointing in the right direction, just a couple of those quick, uh, quick tweaks. You probably got what you need. And most of my clients do. We've just got to reshape it. Um, you might need some more traffic and leads, absolutely, but we've got to get the foundation model right to enable that to happen well. Um, conversion tools like webinars, workshops, whatever it might, you might need there, video series, email sequences, um, and advice from someone who's been there, someone who's done it before, proven results, right? Because in this session, I showed you where you were going wrong with your marketing. 
the three big conversion killers in your coaching business that must be eliminated to attract more clients and why getting this powerful message to market will solve your cash flow crunch. I absolutely believe it. So if it's okay with you, can I help you? Can I go a bit further and showing you how I can help you get this? Is that okay? Hope so. Um, if so, stay on because I'm going to reveal it all, okay? Because the fact is you can try to do it yourself. The problem is it's really hard to see the wood from the trees, especially with a powerful message to market, to know if it's landing because you're the expert in your to area and your topic, okay? Um, it's hard to really zoom out and be objective. How many times have you worked with a client and they've mentioned something you thought, oh, that's weird that they saw it that way, right? Because then your clients uh, haven't got the level of knowledge about what you do that you, do, you have. Mm. Also, Marketing and messaging and copy and all those kind of things don't come easily to everybody. You might not be a marketing coach and that's fine. It might not be your area of expertise. You just want to share what you've got, right? And you just want more of those clients coming in. The marketing and the sales and all that stuff can be a bit of a trainer. And so that, that's a sure sign that you need some help with it. What if you could get that help? What if you could get the guidance on your message to market and eliminate those conversion killers for good so you could easily attract more clients and feel really great about the clients who've got the work that you're doing to serve them the transformation that you're creating? Well, that's why, like I said, over the, over the years, I've seen this time and time again, people don't have the right message to market. So I created a proven system to take you through how to get yours. Okay. So in the next 30 days, you could have a powerful message to market that brings you in more leads and sales every day with the feedback and encouragement you need to take action and actually succeed. Because yes, you have a choice. You could, could do it yourself or you could come and jump in with me into message to market. So let me show you how this program could help just 10 people on today's call. What I'm offering is a limited opportunity to get your message to market sorted, refined, created, whatever it might be there at a ridiculously low price. This is the um, smallest level to access um, my feedback, um, my uh, opportunity to help you shape your message, okay? If you've got a proven online curriculum, we've got the, the framework around those areas to help you shape your powerful, profitable message to market so that you know what your offers are, how you're packaging, packaging it up and for who and how you're going to get it out there. You'll de develop your own unique message to market and offer um, that you're going to share with this repeatable marketing system. The best news is you're going to have this and you can continue to apply it again and again because you've got lifetime access to it as well. You're going to get practical knowledge and advice on your message, your offers, target market, sales copy, Facebook ads, webinars, and enrollment conversations, how you're bringing people into your coaching business, okay? System leaves no stone unturned and it's free of fads and one-off tools. Instead, it's actually a robust strategy designed to unearth your powerful message to market um, that you can apply to all your marketing. So let's go into the elements of what you get. Okay, so the first area we're going to focus on is that magic. So you know when I was talking about those other case studies, it might be that thing that you're you're dulling down that you're afraid to bring out that you're afraid to um, share and put your flag on the hill and say, nope, I'm just an e-commerce business coach or no, I only, um, you know, I only help yoga teachers, not everyone interested in yoga, okay? So have you ever dreamed you could have quality clients lining up to work with you already pre-sold and desperate to experience your magic? Well, I'm going to take you by the hand so that you can get crystal clear on your offer um, and that expertise that you want to share so that you can profit from it. Um, then we move into your market. So let that real, that, let's get that niche worked out, the layer upon layer. What's the target market within your target market? Get a clear and compelling position in that market that translates beautifully. So know exactly who you can help and where you can find them. I'll also show you how you can translate your magic into a compelling message. So that's the third level. Your marketing message, we want to get your copy right, your words right, or those things that get you stumped and you're not sure if that's translating or not. We're going to make that happen. We're also going to make sure you have a beautiful model for delivery, whether you want to do private coaching, whether you want to do group, whether you want to do passive online courses that make over $20,000 a month like Alana, whatever it is, we'll find the right one for you based on who you are, your expertise and who you want to share it with.
So how does it work? Comprehensive training you can access whenever you want virtually. It's available now. It's all in there. Plus 30 days of Facebook masterminding with me in there answering questions um, as, as well as you connecting with fellow entrepreneurs. Okay, so there's an online training hub that takes you through the magic ma um, market message and model areas and there's several um, worksheets, downloads within that to sort of map that out and get, get you very, very clear on that and then you come into the group for feedback. Um, so you, you've got the four key training modules in that membership training site. So it's an online training. You go in there, you access those videos, the worksheets, the downloads. You can choose to um, listen to it while you're working or pop it all out, print out the worksheets and away you go, okay? There's also the uh, private Facebook group, 30 days to create discussion, ask questions and connect for support. So that alone is valued at $97. Um, the membership training site is valued at $997, okay? So once we add the worksheets and downloads to that, the combi combi ugh, combined value is $1,191, but we're not charging anywhere near that. Um, we're charging a lot less than that today, uh, giving you the opportunity to invest in this powerful solution, get my eyes on your message. So actually today, it's only $197 to get started. Um, you can access the information on any of your devices there like that, that's shown there. Okay, all you need to do is go to victoriagibson.com forward slash special offer. I'm going to pop that um, in the chat box for you as well, type that in there for you um, or head on over to that link and you'll see an order form where you fill in your details and you'll get access to the membership portal and um, you'll be added to the Facebook group where you can get started straight away, refining this message to market, getting rid of those top three conversion killers and finally welcoming in the sales and profits that you know that you should and the, uh, making the impact that you know that you should too. Someone like Julie, within um, a couple of weeks of working together, she sent me an email saying, I'm so overcome with emotion today and gratitude. I've surpassed $12,000 in sales, right? She was making about $4,000 a month with one offer. We made a tweak to her message to market. She had a great message to market already, but we were able to have a look at her model and, and tweak that and make a big difference straight away. Someone like Julia, we could t ch um, make a beautiful tweak to her message to market. So rather than um, going straight to the women that she wanted to help, we actually um, were able to create a new approach of circumventing um, those uh, uh, birth educators in that market. So rather than going to newborn mothers, she went to birth educators, created an offering that helped them help newborn mothers. And um, she was able to, um, you know, sell a 497 e-course and $4,000 coaching offers. And in fact, within her first eight weeks, um, she made $11,000. So Pretty quick results can happen when this work is put into place. And the fact is, I want more for you. Not only do you have access to all this, but I want to create some juicy bonuses that bring it to life in the marketing perspective too, because I'm all about online marketing, creating things that have momentum. I don't want it all to be about theory and you go, great, I've got this, I've got this message, now what? Okay, because you've got to get it out there. You've got to get your powerful message to market out there once you've got it created. So I've got a Facebook ads training for you. You saw it earlier in the webinar, this is where I started, this is where, where you know, I've been doing this for years, there's not many, um, uh, there's not much advice I can't give you on Facebook ads, so you're going to get your own training on that. You're also going to get a training on um, repricing what you do uh, to, into a high ticket offer and how you can enroll clients into that which is really one of the quickest ways to get more um, clients, I mean, not more clients, to make more revenue from less clients, particularly if you don't have a big list. So you're going to get that absolutely free as well. It's valued at $97. And I'm going to show you the formula behind standout webinars that sell, how to create your own webinar, the framework that you use, um, and the rationale behind it to make it serve your clients and convert for you as well. So you can take that powerful message to market with these bonuses. You can put them in your face. Facebook ads. You can roll them up into a high ticket um, program and you can create a webinar to enroll people into them. Okay. Talia did message to market. She said, I wanted to say a huge thank you. This is in an email for all of your support. I feel like I got what I was hoping for out of the program and more so than any other program I've done before. Choyo said it was the cheapest program I invested in and the one I got the most value from. 
which was awesome to hear. Okay, so you get those bonuses as well on top of the online training, the worksheets, the downloads of the um, private Facebook group. The combined value of the bonuses alone is just under $300. So if we combine the value of the training, plus the value of the bonuses, we see that it comes up to just shy of $1,500 in value, okay? And don't forget that many of my clients double their income working with me. I showed you just a few things, $10,000 $10, months are, are, you know, a fast track to $10,000 months are not uncommon. Um, but even if you could just make another couple of thousand dollars a month, what would that mean to you? And what is it costing you not having that in place now? Because this is a rare chance, this is not open all the time. It is closing soon. Okay. It's a rare chance to access my complete marketing system for a tiny price. Your investment today is just $197. That is it, right? My guarantee to you is that you try it risk-free risk for 30 days. If it doesn't float your boat, if it doesn't give you what I promise, I have no questions to ask you uh, apart from give you your, um, your investment back. The risk is on me. So you can come in, do the work, try it and, um, and get some great results. I'm absolutely sure of that. Just $197 today gets you in, gets you access to making the changes that you need to. As I said, I created this program um, you head to that link to access it there. I created this program based on what I saw time and time again, the biggest reasons for businesses not working or slowing down or getting stuck, okay? This will get you unstuck. This will get you the clarity that I know you need um, and I know you deserve, okay? So head on over to victoriagibson.com forward slash special offer to access it. Okay, um, just enter your details there. You're going to get everything you need. If you have any questions at all, just email us at hello at victoriagibson.com. Um, if you've got specifics, you know, about logistics or whatever, if you've got other questions, stay on the line. We're going to answer them um, right now, actually. So that link to get that $197 offer, um, the program used to sell for $697. I have sold it for $697 plenty of times. Um, you get access in the program as well to um, a lot of those uh, group coaching calls. So you'll get have access to those re replays and see how, you know, other people People, what other questions people have asked and what where they've been stuck and how they've had breakthroughs as well okay so it's only open for a short time message to market um, jump in there and if you have any questions I'd love to hear them from you so um, please do let me know in um, the chat box send them there if I don't get a chance to answer them I will come back to you um, generally people um, uh, you know, have asked before in the past things like, um, will this work for me if I'm just new and I'm starting out, haven't got any clients yet? And the answer to that is absolutely, this is the perfect time to do this work, to make sure that you have it um, in place and working well for you uh, before you get out there, waste money on Facebook ads, create sales pages and websites without getting this message to market right. So absolutely, um, it works across all different industries as well. And it will learn enable you to get really clear. You'll walk away with your message to market. You'll walk away with the Facebook ads training, understanding how you're going to attract clients and um, into your coaching business and create big transformation. So I can't wait to welcome you in here. Be aware the offer is limited. As I said, you get all those bonuses too. It's an amazing um, accessible way for you to come and get my eyes on what you've got. So don't miss out. I look forward to welcoming you in there soon.